All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. Happy Wednesday wherever you are around the world. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be starting out with a book of meme updates, see what is happening, and of course what we could be expecting as we go further into the bull market. If we're looking at everything today, majority of the market is down a little bit. And the reason as to why this is the case is because, you know, Bitcoin is holding still above 70K. But speaking about that 70K mark, you know, it's having a little bit of a hard time, you know, breaking up certain level, which obviously I will explain once I pull out the chart. So, you know, overall market due to Bitcoin dominance kind of going up is seeing a little bit of a minor pullback. But let's not, um, you know, get uh, confused because if we're looking at it on the weekly time frame, the market is once again bouncing back up quite a bit. So that's that is obviously something that we should not be forgetting but if we're looking at book of memes price right now you guys can see it's currently sitting at 1.29 cents down 9.2 percent over the past 24 hours in usd comparative it's also down nine percent in bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours market cap right now is currently sitting around 890 million and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 465.3 million dollars so before we go into it any further as you guys know just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so you know, just a quick update to see what exactly is happening so you know as far as the market cap is concerned like i said it's around uh, 890 million you know this is a little um, inaccurate it's not updated but you know the holder count right now is around 72,700 holders and this is something a lot of people are not paying attention to but if i were you i would be looking at this number very very carefully yes you are seeing some of the coins that are flying right now despite a little bit of a um you know lag behind btc over the past few hours we've, we're seeing whiff absolutely doing great uh crazy stuff right now and um you know that might be confusing some people but i'm convinced and again you know at the end of the day this is just my own personal opinion uh but you know the fact that the engagement is quite unique um, you know, the fact that the dev has quite a bit of uh, connections within the space. And on top of that, there was, um, you know, I think speculation now going around that OKX could be one of the next tier one exchanges that could come and list BOEM, um, you know, in the maybe upcoming future because, you know, they did reply back to Dark Farm's uh, tweet. And, um, you know, obviously that has gained speculation. But nonetheless, let's not forget the fact that, you know, this is already listed on some of the biggest exchanges that we have come across um, in the crypto space. So that is a huge plus point and that will help this, um, you know, a lot move moving forward so and now that we have that out of the way let's take a look at the entire meme coin market combined so some interesting things happening right now so let's give it a refresh live so you guys can see the entire market cap is 64 billion dollars so, you know we have barely seen a retracement in this number um, you know we were sitting about almost 66 billion but you know barely any retracement in here so this is giving me an indication that you know a lot of other meme coins especially low cap meme coins right now are exploding look at this coin i have never heard of this up 550 percent so you know if i if we were to go lower i think you will be able to understand as to what i mean some big gainers right here you can see but you know the fact that it's at 64 billion speaks for itself and it shows that you know the momentum is not over yet and i think you know we could see more upside leading to the bitcoin happening so now if we're looking at the big boys right now you know from the big players right now the only one that's standing in the last 24 hours that's showing positive momentum is with itself you can see this for yourself up 46.8 percent over the last seven days and in the last 24 hours it's up 0.2 percent but you know if you're going lower you are seeing book of meme down 9.1 percent but up 11.5 percent on the last seven days so you know that's not bad to be quite frank with you you guys know we keep it 100 percent neutral if it was looking bad i'm gonna straight up tell you that you know it's not looking good um because i keep 100 percent things neutral um, and right now, you know, it's reacting to the overall market momentum. And on top of that, you know, there are early comers that still haven't cashed out, believe it or not. Maybe some of them are just holding it. You know, they're like, you know what, let's just actually pull out some of our profits. Um, you know, that is also something that we need to consider right now. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, looking good, in my opinion, uh, you know, you're looking at Slurf, its competitor. Um, it's doing better uh, than Book of Meme as of now. But, you know, Book of Meme has the first mover advantage what i mean by that is it was listed so the pre-sale meta 
you know, this was the first one on Seoul. And on top of that, um, you know, it got listed on all the biggest exchanges. It hit a billion dollar market cap the fastest. So, you know, this is going to resonate with a lot of people uh, that actually understand this. So, you know, that is how I'm currently taking a look at Book of Me. But now with that being said, let's take a look at the charts. So if you're looking at Bitcoin dominance, as mentioned earlier in the update, you know, Bitcoin dominance is going up as we speak. And again, you know, the reason as to why this is the case is because Bitcoin guys is having a little bit of a hard time uh, getting past this key resistance. You know, obviously you won't be able to see this in here. Let's look at it on the hourly time frame. So you're starting to see this pattern playing out. If I show you on the hourly time frame, so you know a lot of <laughs> manipulation and a lot of obviously resistance uh, that we need to consider. Um, but you know, there's a lot of shorts, longs being liquidated right now. You can see, you know, BTC goes up to 71k, then off we go to 69k, 70. 1569 so you guys get the idea as to what i'm saying but you know nonetheless you know there is some resistance obviously at this point but um as i've said to you guys before in the updates over the weekend you know that btc could be on its way to hit a new all-time high you know before the month even comes to an end and i'm sticking to that right now as well of course we did hear uh news coming out regarding uh you know kucoin and again you know kucoin if you're an og uh crypto investor guys you know me personally as far as the exchange goes i have never had anything negative to say about kucoin um you know it has given me a lot of good um you know projects throughout the past runs uh, but now, now you know they um, I think it was the SEC uh, that has launched an investigation on two of the owners. And I think that's going to drive away a lot of people's interest from the exchange. And this is why I always say, you know, you want to have your coins off the exchange. If you're trading, um, like if you're just trading and you want to put like stop losses, then, you know, the best way obviously then is to go on centralized exchanges. But 99% of the time, your coins should be completely off the exchange. Even though KuCoin has come out and said, you know, they're uh, not... Uh, affected in terms of uh, you know funds but obviously the news itself is going to um, you know kind of have people panic and you know, take their money off of the exchange because of course you know what we have seen in the past with FTX and stuff like that but anyways a lot of talking as you guys know but you guys can see this for yourself we have seen so with the momentum you know with the rejection with for BTC we have seen uh, you know bohm also retesting this support once again and as of recording this update you know bohm's price is below this key support line at 1297 uh, you know we did see something similar happen on the 23rd of March you can see we went all the way down to ag exactly around this at 1266 you could pretty much say we created a double bottom at that level um, and you know we did see a bounce from that range if you remember you know if you picked it up back then you did see um you know boom flying about 18 percent so are we going to see something similar happen yes i believe so you know pay very close attention to btc right now uh but overall you know things are not looking bad especially from the low on the march 18 side you know we're still in an upwards trend believe it or not so you know it's really really important uh nonetheless to for the price to actually stay above the support as i've said to you guys before uh but i have a feeling that you know it shouldn't have a problem staying above the support as long as btc does not see you know a pullback um, and you know the targets remain the same at the end of the day guys you know these meme coins uh, you know can be um, you know the price can go up really fast as well as it can go down as fast as fast because you know manipulation on meme coins are is not hard you know just a few whales can come in you know <laughs> manipulate the markets but overall you know you got to be looking at the bigger picture obviously right now volatility sideways momentum uh, can happen you're part of the game uh, if you've been in the space look at shiba inu's early beginning look at pepe look at whiff you know this is part of the game if you're gonna think that you know the market's gonna run up like this like what you what you have seen for boom when it was originally launched let me just tell you that's not going to happen every single day let me just tell you that there's going to be time for consolidation will happen sideways momentum will happen um but you know if you've done your due diligence research and have invested what you can afford to lose then guess what patience is your number one key to follow but uh that is it for today's update do let me know down below what you guys personally think love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out